Life is full of ups and downs. What's important is you do not know how to give up. Instead, you try to see the bright side of light and perceive life in a positive way. You have to understand that your perception about life has a great impact in your well-being and health. Being positive will help you eliminate negative self-talk and take control of your life. You will be able to see life with all the possibilities instead of the obstacles and worries that it offers. Let this book provide you with everything that you need to learn about being positive. Positive Power How to Maintain Your Resolution to Cut Out the Negativity Chapter 1 Be Positive Resolutions Basics Synopsis Positive people can help you achieve your dreams, while negative people see such dreams from you. Being positive is associated with several benefits. This is probably why most people consider this as one of the most important New Year's resolutions that they make. However, like other resolutions, some people find it hard to make the necessary changes in their life just to become optimistic and remain positive. In order for you to become successful in achieving this goal, it is essential that you determine the factors that can help you attain it more easily and conveniently. The following are the basics of Be Positive Resolutions. The Basics Known for making the lives of people happier, healthier, and more successful, being positive has become a vital part of everyday living. However, viewing the world in a positive way is easier said than done. Fortunately, there are several ways that you try to turn your be positive resolutions into a reality. Being positive defined. Being positive or optimistic is when people always look for the best in any situation and expect that good things may still happen regardless of how bad the situation is. Even if something bad happens in their life, they still see the silver lining or light at the end of the tunnel. Positive people always believe that they are responsible for their own happiness and don't blame others for all the negative things that are happening in their lives. These view their mistakes as an opportunity to learn and improve themselves to become a wiser, better, and stronger individual. Tips for being positive Use positive affirmations. It is advisable that you write down all the things that you want to change in yourself. Put these in areas where you can see them every day, such as in front of your refrigerator, in your cork board, or in the mirror. Change negative thought into positive ones. Negativity can be hard to eliminate if you keep on having negative thoughts. Although it may seem difficult, this negative feeling is all about mindset. This means that if you think negatively, you will view all the things around you in the same manner. Instead of this, why not try to look for the bright side of any negative situation? Surround yourself with positive people. They say that habits and attitudes can be contagious. For this reason, it is important that you surround yourself with positive people who will encourage you to do your best and help you attain whatever goals you have. It would also help if you start weaving positive activities in your life. Start making changes. Instead of contemplating about what can be the possible effects of a certain situation in your life, start thinking about the best ways to prevent the impact of such situation. It is already part of living to take risks. What's important that you are prepared for the things that in can bring. Use your negative experiences to make better decisions and build your character. Share your problems. Dealing with your problems in your own can have a detrimental effect on your health. Allowing yourself to struggle can just make things worse. Sharing your hardships with someone you trust allows you to receive some pieces of advice and encouragement that you can use to refocus on your courage, perseverance, and strength. Create a positive environment. 
Making developments or changes in your office space, room, or house can make you feel welcomed, relaxed, and relaxed. Be a rational optimist. Being an optimist does not mean that you have to pretend that nothing bad will happen. This mentality can trigger you to make poor decisions in your life and make matters worse. You have to learn how to prepare for the worst, but still hope for the best. You can become an optimist without being an extrovert. Chapter 2 Understand what brings you down. Synopsis At some point in their life, people will feel down without knowing why. There are several things in life that have a significant impact on the way people make decisions, deal with problem, and live their life. Sometimes, these things are the ones that bring them down instead of helping them move on. The best ways to deal with the things that bring you down is to know and understand them first. This way, it would be easier for you think of ways on how you can prevent them. The following are the things that bring people down. Loss Losing someone close to them can discourage people to move on with their life. Some people who have experienced tragedy or loss in the past find hard to fully grieve and accepted the loss. Saying goodbye to a person who loved, cared, and influenced them in so many ways is one of the hardest but the most important decisions that they have to make. Series of Failures Experiencing failures in various aspects of their life including work, family, school, and relationship can make people believe that they are indeed a failure. This prevents them from trying new things that can improve them as a person and choose to get stuck in a notion that whatever they do, they will still fail. Fear Fear is an emotion triggered by perceived threats. It is an important part in keeping you safe as it serves as a basic survival mechanism that signals your body to respond to a danger with a flight response. However, living in constant fear can make you become incapacitated. Your brain may perceive things negatively and make you remember that way. Fear can bring you down, drive you to destructive habits, create doubt, and stifle your thinking and actions. It can affect your mental and physical well-being regardless of whether the threat is real or perceived. Strained Family Ties Your family defines who you are. Unfortunately, some people are forced to make decision of whether they should continue their strained family relationship or will it be better if they just break the ties that they have. Your family may sometimes drive you nuts but they are also the ones that rushed to your side during times when you needed them the most. However, even though your family can bring you down, it is imperative that you evaluate your relationship with them before you decide whether cutting family ties is worth it or not. Permanent Disability Physical disabilities can bring profound effects on the attitudes and lifestyle of people. It requires them to make necessary adjustments, not just physically, but psychologically and emotionally as well. Most people who have permanent physical disability grow up with limitations when it comes to making life choices and activities. In some cases, it can bring them down to the point when they no longer interested to try new things and strive to attain whatever they want to achieve in life. Depression Untreated depression can pose serious problems in your relationship with others, in the way you do your job, and in overcoming serious diseases. People who are experiencing depression do not have the capability to pull themselves together. Moreover, the quality of their lives can also be adversely affected by this condition as the problems arising from personal and social relationships as well as at home and at work are becoming hard to resolve. Not being recognized. All people need to be appreciated and recognized. However, not all of them receive this kind of treatment, making them feel undervalued. 
People who are happier in their life are the ones whose great work is being recognized by the people around them, including their family and employer. According to psychologists, people need a certain amount of recognition and rewards from others in order to remain emotionally and physically healthy. It also prevents them from feeling down knowing that all their hard work is being appreciated. Poor self-esteem and lack of self-worth. Do not believing in your own capability and skills can prevent you from doing your best and become a much better person that you used to be. You have to keep in mind that they are still people who appreciate and value you as a person and trust in your capacity to overcome various life challenges. Being positive involves improving your self-esteem and your self-worth. Chapter 3 Understand Who Brings You Down Synopsis The things around you are not just the ones that can bring you down. Sometimes, there are certain types of people who will discourage you and make you think and see life in a negative way. Sadly, seeing things negatively leaves no room for your positive sides to grow. These people will sometimes pass unkind remarks or do things just to stop you from succeeding and surpassing what you have attained. The negative vibes that these people bring can add more misery to your life. That is why it is important that you are aware of the people who will be happy to see you live as a pessimistic person. It would be better if you ignore these persons and be strong enough to move one from them. Ignoring them does not mean that you hate them, it just means that you care more about your well-being than their opinions and criticisms. The following are the people who can bring you down and make happiness harder for you to experience. Impossible to please. There are people who are really hard to please. Sometimes, it is better to accept the fact that you will never please them no matter what you do that keep on exerting effort to something that you know from the start that it will not deliver positive results. At some point in your life, you will meet people who will treat you badly, disrespect you, and discredit you for no particular reason. The best thing that you can do in this kind of situation is to simply walk away. Do not have to consume yourself trying harder just to win their approval, especially if you already tried that before, but they are still not pleased. Fake friends Friends are the ones whom we can rely on in times when we needed a shoulder to cry on. They become you siblings by faith. Unfortunately, there are also people who pretend to be your friend when in fact, they only treat you as one because you are beneficial to them. Fake friends only remember you when they need your help. For this reason, it is essential that you are careful when choosing people whom you will include in your circle of friends. It also pays to know the qualities of friends who can bring you down instead of helping you get up after failing. Fake friends will not accept you for who you are no matter how hard to you try to fit in. They want to see you get in trouble and do something wrong. This type of friends also turns their back on you and brings you down by not being there when you needed them the most and by not staying true to their promises. Bullies Bullies make the life of people more complicated. They prioritize their needs and feeling over the people around them. Bullies use their negativity to scare and intimidate you as well as manipulate your thoughts. They will say and do anything to make you do what they want you to do for them. They manipulate people for their own personal gain. Unforgiving people All people make mistakes. What's important is that you take an effort to correct such mistake, learn from it, and think of ways on how you can prevent yourself from committing the same mistake. However, there are people who find it hard to forgive those who did something wrong to them or do not support you in your goal of growing beyond your past mistakes. Use your past mistakes as your guide when living in the present and planning for your future. If the people around you constantly judge you based on the mistakes that you have committed in the past or use such mistakes to hold it against you and use them to bring you down, it would be best if you leave them behind. Drama Queen 
Yes. Drama queens can also bring you down. They are the type of people who always want to create controversy and outlandish antics for no apparent reason. The ideal thing that you can do if you happen to personally know a drama queen is to ignore them and just walk away. You have to do your best to make sure that you do not fall into their antics. Deal with them in a calmer and more confident manner as you do not want to stir up your own controversy. When possible, you can show them how to manage different problems in life. Instead of allowing them to bring you down, be the one who inspire, educate, and encourage people to always practice compassion and understanding. People who insist that you should be someone else. Be proud of who you are. You have to create your own identity and not the one that is copied from others. There is no better feelings than to know that the people around you accept you for who you are and not the one they want you to become. Unfortunately, there are people who do not see and appreciate the developments that you made for yourself that speak of who you really are. They keep on insisting that you will become a better person if you become someone else. Of all people, it is you who knows what is best for you. You can experience real success, love, and happiness if you chose to be who you are and not a second version of someone else. Let the people around you love and respect you for who you are, and do not conform to please them or feel threatened if you do not become who they want to be. Yourself That is right. Even your own self can bring you down. Self-criticism is often associated with anxiety, depression, and unhappiness. Your value as a person does not come from who you are not, but in who you are. Stop criticizing yourself. You may not be as good as what other people are. But there is something special and unique about you that they do not have. Everyone is different from each other. That is why you have to stop making comparisons. Just accept and enjoy what you have. Your flaws is part of your individuality. Let it not be the reason as to why you should become your biggest inner critic. Chapter 4 Get the Mindset of Winning Synopsis the winning mindset is a fundamental factor in achieving success in life or in business. This mindset is not created by chance or a flip of the coin. It serves as the foundation of success, conscious growth, wealth, and prosperity. If you want to create a positive mindset, you have to know how it works to help you become the winner. The following are some essential information that you need to know about getting the winning mindset. What is a mindset? Your mindset is who you are. It is composed of your beliefs, attitudes, feelings, and thoughts. Mindset is a simple idea that creates all the differences. It creates productivity and motivation in sports, education, and business. It is what successful athletes, business people, and educators have. How to achieve the winning mindset? 1. Believe in yourself. You have to believe that you can do anything. You have to trust in your skills, knowledge, and capability when dealing with the challenges that you will face as you tread the path towards success. 2. Make a plan and create a strategy. Part of having a winning mindset is to create a plan that will serve as your guide in reaching your goals. On the other hand, having the right strategy can make such goals easier to achieve. Most of the time, it requires an appropriate set of behaviors and a vision for the future. Without a holistic and flexible strategy, you are more likely to fall short in achieving what you want to achieve in your life. 3. Identify your strengths and weaknesses. People who have the mindset of a winner are those who know how to use their skills and strengths to give them the will to win and enforce a positive attitude. They are also not afraid to fail and never give up. 
4. Practice self-awareness. Top performing people are aware of the things that they have, the ones that can motivate and help them achieve their goals. Being aware of the things that they are good at can provide them with a competitive edge over their competitors. They also know how to manage such things in order to prevent them from becoming their weaknesses. 5. Be brave enough to face your challenges. If you really wanted to win, you need to be brave enough to face your fears and challenges. You have to be ready to fight and take no for an answer. If you want help, never be afraid to ask for it especially when such help can greatly increase your chances of accomplishing your goals. Chapter 5 Take Care of Your Body Synopsis One of the keys to having a happier living and a healthy lifestyle is to know how to take care of your body. Whatever task you want to accomplish or any goal that you want to achieve can be done easily if you are physically, mentally, and emotionally healthy. Your body and your mind are connected with each other. If you are living an unhealthy lifestyle, you are more likely to make unhealthy choices. Likewise, being active can help in improving your moods and lessen your chances of suffering from depression. The following are some tips on how to can take care of your body for a much happier and healthier life. Eat healthy. Choosing fresh fruits and vegetables as well as lean meat and poultry are much better than eating junk foods, carbonated drinks, and fast foods. By eating healthy, you will receive the nutrients, vitamins, and energy that you need to combat the stress brought by a day's work. As part of your effort to eat healthy, you should not forget to drink plenty of water to keep you hydrated and to remove toxins from your body. Take time to relax. No matter how busy your schedule is, it is important that you take a break from the things that make you feel stressed and find time to clear your mind and relax. Whenever you're at work, taking a break even for just a few minutes can make a big difference in the way you handle your job. Exercise Exercising is an activity that will allow you to rejuvenate yourself. Exercising does not mean that you have to spend hours in the gym. There are certain activities that can help you become fit while still having fun. It is advisable that you engage in any type of exercise or physical activity for at least 30 minutes a day. Get enough rest and sleep. Resting and sleeping allows you to regain the energy that you have lost during the whole day's work. Having enough sleep and rest also have an impact on your ability to function well, on your mood, and on your metabolism. Practicing good hygiene is another way to take care of your body. This will prevent you from experiencing different kinds of diseases. Good hygiene means that you are health inside and out. You need to take a bath regularly, clean your teeth, trim your nails, put on clean clothes, and more. Chapter 6 Take Care of Your Soul Synopsis Sometimes, the never-ending responsibilities that people have to accomplish on a daily basis keep them from taking care of their inner self, their soul. While the soul is invisible to the outside world, it is still a living thing that needs to be given particular attention and needs to be cared and nurtured. People strive to do their best and be the best that they can be. However, they often forget to keep peace in their soul. The health and condition of your soul matter in everything that you do in life. Every soul needs a degree of health. But how can you keep your soul healthy so that it would make it easier for you to improve the quality of your life? The following are some tips on how you can take care of your soul. Meditation Meditation has become a new trend and lifestyle in this modern world. It provides tremendous benefits to your body, mind, and soul. Meditation empowers your soul, which becomes an important source of love, power, and wisdom. 
It also helps you attain higher consciousness. It is recommended that you meditate regularly. Start by taking 15 to 30 minutes of your day to practice breathing exercises. The more you meditate, the more you will find it easy to deal with your day-to-day -day problems. Stop thinking too much. You cannot solve your problems all at once. Life is about learning and discovering new things. Thinking too much about the problems that you are experiencing can sometimes result to more troubles. Take and deal with your problems one at a time. Learn to forgive. As mentioned, you have to learn to forgive not just those who have done wrong to you, but also yourself. Forgiveness will free you from negativity, resentment, pain, and anger. Accept and embrace your imperfections. Nobody is perfect. Don't think that others are better than you. Each individual has his own flaws. Learn to embrace your imperfections and accept yourself as a whole. Your flaws make things interesting and help reveal your individuality. Take a break. For at least once a week, try to give yourself your own Emmy time. Unplug yourself from all the things that can make you feel stressed and tired. This means that your me time should be free from internet, emails, phones, and other things that can distract you. The best way to unwind and take a break is to travel to peaceful places. Practice least resistance. Some people waste too much of their soul energy trying to become resistant to certain things or situations as well as people whom they do not want to deal with. It would be better if you encounter things or circumstances that are unfavorable to you. You have to learn how to accept such things and determine how you can adapt to the changes that such things will bring. Read books to expand your mind and imagination. They say that books are food for the soul. In this regard, it is highly recommended that you read books to expand your mind and your imagination. There are several non-fiction and fiction books that are available in both online and offline stores that will enable you to improve your social perception, increase your awareness and consciousness about reality, and feed your brain. Make peace with yourself. You may be a compassionate person who always wants to make the people around you happy and meet their needs. But have you even given enough of that compassion to your own self? Have you provided yourself with the things that you need to feed your mind, body, and soul? You have to take responsibility for your own soul and for your choices, behaviors, thoughts, and needs. Chapter 7 Use Your Support System Synopsis When things are not going according to plan, people often resort to their support system to give them the courage, support, and encouragement that they need to help them pass through the difficult paths in their journey. The following are useful tips on how to create your own support system. Follow the give and take principle. Before to start creating your support system, you have to learn how to you can return the favor that the people in your support system has given you. For every support and encouragement that you receive from them, you need to return the favor by supporting each of the members of the support system and helping them reach their own objectives and goals. Engage in various interests. For your own personal support system, you can engage in a variety of interests that can preoccupy you in times when you need healthy distractions in your life. Engaging in various activities can also grow as a person. Expand your horizons. Your close friends, colleagues, and family can serve as an excellent member of your support team. However, in some cases, it would be better if you expand your horizons and consider those people whom you've met in other places. The relationship that you have developed with people whom you barely know at first but are willing to support you in every possible way can help you in creating a community that share their opinions, skills, knowledge, and experience that you might not yet know. 
Being surrounded with a supportive team will make it a lot easier and more convenient for you to conquer every problems and challenges that life may throw at you. Such team can also surround you with encouragement and positivity, the key elements in creating success. Chapter 8 Get the here and now mentality. Synopsis People tend to regret the mistakes they have done in the past and strive to protect themselves from the future. This action prevents them from seeing and taking advantage of the amazing opportunities that the present brings. The following will help under understand more about the here and now mentality. Now There are things in the life that are worth waiting for. However, there are also things that are worth doing right now. Practicing the here and now mentality allows you to be mindful and conscious. Mindfulness enables you to focus your attention on the moment. It is a moment-to-moment -moment awareness of the activities that is being practiced in any occasion. It will promote strength, energy, and calmness that are essential in stabilizing everything in life. Practicing the here and now mentality requires discipline since it involves engaging in exercises that will improve the capability of an individual to be mindful every day. It also requires removing your attention from the past and the future in times when they are not needed. When focusing on your present life, it is vital that you are aware of the time that you need to accomplish your goals. It would also help if you practice mindfulness when dealing with your emotions, thoughts, and reactions. Conducting certain exercises can also help you to be more present. These include meditation, being a conscious observant, and taking a deep breath. Chapter 9 Use Affirmations to Stay on Course Synopsis all individuals can use affirmations to live their best life. Positive affirmations are positive and powerful statements and thoughts that they can use for improving their personal wealth, spirituality, relationship, health, and career. The capability of people to remain positive and keep positive thoughts can determine the status of their emotional life. The following can help you understand how you can use affirmations to stay on course when it comes to successfully achieving your be positive resolutions. Affirmations defined. Affirmations are statements that aim to reprogram the subconscious mind of individuals with positive thoughts so that they can eliminate any negativity that prevents them from going after dreams. Positive affirmations can make you feel stronger and help you make the most positive and wisest choices. It would be easier for you to achieve whatever you want if you use positive visualization and affirmations in everything that you do. This is considered as one of the most powerful and effective strategies that you can take advantage of if you want to change your life for the better. You can create your own positive affirmations with the use of simple language to express or showcase the message that you want to convey. It is advisable that you make your affirmations in a clear and concise manner and written in the present tense. You also have to make sure that they are written in a first-person narrative. Whatever you dream of, you will be closer to attaining such dream if you have a positive focused mindset. Chapter 10 the Benefits of Your Being Positive Resolution Synopsis Being positive resolution provides numerous benefits to your overall well-being. This is an important factor that directly affects the perception of people when it comes to creating a life that they want. Being positive may sound simple, but it is actually not easy. However, once you become one, you can see several improvements in your life. The following are some of the benefits that you can get from being positive. Benefits One of the benefits of having a positive mind is that it creates harmonious relationships. This is because having a positive attitude allows you to see the positive sides of various people instead of flaws and mistakes. 
Another benefit is that positive people can maintain a broader perspective and effectively identify solutions to various problems that they have. Being positive also promotes better health, reduced stress, and improved focus. Positive people tend to handle things better than negative people. They are able to concentrate better in finding solutions instead of being distracted by negative elements. Moreover, the way people think also have a direct impact on their health. That is why if you conquer negative thoughts, you will have a lower chances of suffering from different kinds of diseases. Aside from this, you can also face any stressful situation with an improved focus. This helps you worry less and cope better. Positive thinkers are also more resilient. This means that they have the ability to overcome adversity or cope with problems. Instead of losing hope and giving up, they do the best they can to find an effective way to fix their problems. Best of it all, being positive gives you the power to change not just your environment, but your life as a whole. This can result to a more successful and happier life. The benefits that being positive provides can never be underestimated. Altering your current behavior and attitude into a positive one will greatly help you in bringing productive changes in all aspects of your life.